Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. Ekene speaks of self-restraint, whereas I'm asking what happens when that capacity is dysfunctional? So it's of sexual offenses. It was not until an old family friend killed her husband in gruesome fashion did the concept of the enraged spouse become less of an abstract with me. She still awaits trial, here in Nigeria that is. With the recent murder of a wife in Lekki by her husband in the most torturous and horrendous fashion, and then his own suicide, it is clearly a trend to note and act on. I have read several rants about the incident in which the woman stands accused of producing a second child with another man. Nothing should ever be a reason for murder. Walking away from an unsavory situation is best. So why do we do this? Why does rape of females appear to be on the increase? And of little children. In Sierra Leone, a five-year-old Khadija was raped and murdered. We are still dealing with reports here in Nigeria, like justice for Uwa. The trend is now starting to move towards male homosexual gang rape. May I add that gang rape appears to be the preferred evil. Meanwhile, Nigeria's northern region, long known to be somewhat accepting of child marriage and child abuse, have refused to pass laws that deal with this rising evil. The current government and police and judiciary have failed the nation. The president, Major General Buhari, is never seen with sleeves rolled up, Rather, statements are made on his behalf that full justice will be brought to bear on such criminals, but nothing ever happens. This is an indictment of top law officials of the nation. I read all the time, especially from women, about sorting out sons. That's all fine, except that there are always two sides to things. Much as a man should go to jail or be castrated for rape, may I suggest that parents train both sexes to navigate this world devo devoid of this evil. The tired old narrative of it's not the dress I have on impedes progress. Anyone who still wants to hold on to the male narrative, or in the case of a female propagated rape, the opposite, is fighting a harder battle. Chuka, I have to agree with you on the basis that, um, you know, when, you, when I, when I came, came across these stories, especially the more recent one you referred to of the husband that killed his wife then killed himself, you just feel so heartbroken that, you know, yes, you know that more are being reported, but it, the feeling you get is that the world is closing in on you and that you're getting more and more uh, depraved people roaming about. But, you know, it may be that it's just a case of more reporting as well as the other bit. But what I wanted to agree with you on is the fact that, yes, we need to train our children, especially because there's so much information that they're being bombarded with, whether on social media or wherever, that could be confusing for them if they weren't able to put everything together in a way that allows them to behave in a self-controlled way. Because what I see at the heart of it is manifestations of lack of self-control. You know, um, recently someone I, I live with said that a man who lost his wife brought the son of his sister to help look after the children. And that one proceeded to rape, serially rape the young girl who came to help him, the 13-year-old, until the girl ran away. Now her take was, oh, why didn't the girl, why didn't the guy go outside to, to sort of ease the pressure of wanting to sleep? And I'm like, rape, behave. Why can't you control yourself? Why can't young men be taught to the control themselves? If you were in prison for a life sentence, who will you find to sleep with? You know, if we're in a wartime situation, you may not find anyone to sleep with. So teach yourself some self-control. Stop behaving as if you're being ruled by your lust. I don't get that. Everybody needs to be taught self-control. And, and violating another human being because you desire some pleasure, for me, is animalistic. Hey, Let's get a grip. Kennedy, the topic is not all about rape, um, so let's move uh, to but, but, David. But that's the primary thing, sexual <laughs> yeah, offenses. Let's, um, you're, going, you're, you're, you're offending someone else because of your sexual it's desire. All, it's also so about death. Self-control. A large percentage of the media that we now consume 
I think over the past 10, 15, 20 years, has become somewhat a bit, a bit more tolerating of certain types of violence that I, I don't think would have been kosher before then. I think, for example, the porn, which you know, the majority of humanity watches, because I believe in Nigeria, the fourth most visited website is a porn yeah. website. And even though you know, nobody admits Agrees. in public that they yeah, watch that porn, they watch porn yes. technically, we kind of all do at one point or the other. And if you actually scroll through what is available on a porn site in this day and age, it's not just sexual acts. It's, there's a lot, violence, of, violence there's a, there's a lot of stuff on the site. You can find anything, and it's called taboo, so it's fun. Mm -hmm. Yes. But that stuff is, is getting into your head. Yes. And you're watching it all the time. And obviously, the people who create this content will, will argue this point. They'll say, no, it's just entertainment. But entertainment does have an impact, impact on the human yeah. brain. But I don't think we've had the, the research or the studies into these things yet to actually study how, from a young age, having access to like limitless amounts of porn on the internet, how it actually interferes with a young man's mind. Because like, I can speak for men. You know, the way I grew up and the way you know, men are growing up now, even though I didn't grow up that long ago, there's a marked difference. Yeah. You know? And I'm not sure that this uh, is being acknowledged, that there's some kind of danger in there. You know, and yeah, obviously, no, I agree with you. it may not, agree it may not necessarily be the case that, that violence but is worse now. I agree with you, but, but I don't know if Uche agrees. I do agree. Um, first of all, I wanted to say that I believe it's really just more reporting because I remember as a child, I used to hear horror stories. And uh, practically nearly every uh, female I have ever come across has always reported some case of abuse, be it by an uncle or house help or something. So um, I just think that it's just the manner in which it's getting to us. And so, it, you know, we're, on top of that, we're getting all these gruesome pictures. And, you know, so it seems like it's really, it's a lot worse. But it's good because it makes us address the issue. Now, um, uh, what I wanted to say really was that in order for, the, you know, telling people, oh, they need to control themselves. Well, you know, I always look at it like um, it, to stop corruption. It's not a, really about okay. trying to change how the, whether the person uh, change how the corrupt person is thinking. It's really more about processes. If you put the right process in place to checkmate the corruption, then you know just assume that everybody's corrupt, everybody is a thief, and you just put the right processes in in, uh, in place to check it. So I'm just looking at rape and abuse and all these other things. Um, I'm thinking the, the judicial system, the process needs to be looked at because if they make reporting of rape. Uh, simple and straightforward, and if they also speed up uh, the um, the legal process so that people can get judgment quickly, um, I think that this would definitely uh, put address, some fear address, into the rapist's the mind or the potential rapist's mind. Yeah. Um, yeah. David um, is absolutely right. I think with the video games, the music, I mean, the video games are so violent these days, the music uh, that people listen to, the rap or whatever it is, okay, and also, and like you said, porn, but it doesn't even have to be porn. There's a lot of stuff going on on normal TV fantastic. now that even young kids get, get exposed to. But most of our parents teach your children the right way. Yeah, that's the control I was going to I, I do agree with much of what you said, but that uh, you need to be taught that self-control is a virtue. Well, Chuka may have been a little subtle or even nuanced in suggesting ways to tackle the problem. But as you all know, I don't go in for that. After the break, I'm saying kill it with fire.